Hey guys, Moody here, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, this is where we left off, so <clears throat> we'll continue with the, seeing what the rest of the stuff is. All right, the messengers. Let's see. Rebecca, before we meet at the site, I want you to see these. Last week I reviewed the logs from my time with Bayek and came across some old notes. In the years I explored Cleopatra's Egypt, I stumbled across six Isum temples, most of which were buried beneath pharaonic tomb sites. Each temple contained an Isu message clearly meant for one with the ability to read genetic memories. I was, lucky, I was the lucky one. I don't believe they were intended for Bayek himself as he seemed wholly unaware of the messages as they played. They have been encoded in a way that only someone with an animus could see them. It's been a few years since I last heard these messages so my memory is foggy but the notes I scribbled down have a clarity that I trust. Might be someone, might be something to all this. I don't know, I don't know. Often I grasp outside of my area of expertise. I am enthusiastic, but often wrong. Let me know if something else strikes you. <clears throat> Layla. Message one, excerpt. Layers upon layers of reality, each blurring into the next, which is real and which is not. What if none are real? What if everything you know is false? We ran thousands of simulations, searching for the right version, searching for Desmond. Each one of them felt real, but there's no way of truly knowing is there. Not for sure. Anything can be simulated and finding the answer could mean erasure. Uh, teasing the assassins, Maxim, nothing is true. Must be careful not to confuse truth, truths with facts. However, a language game you will always lose. Though we may stumble in our attempts to interpret, interpret it, the world, the universe, reality, what have you, it is always out there. I believe that simulated or no. We could imagine a dozen nested simulations and each one on the level of itself would constitute a full reality. Wolfram via Conway suggests the universe is a giant cellular automata. automata. And further, there is a point where the difference between simulated and real is meaningless. If the universe were a simulation, what would it matter? The simulation, qua simulation itself, would be real and therefore everything within it would be real within the confines of the simulation. Say a scientist were able to simulate pain by inducing only a few neurons to fire, no physical harm, I am in pain, the subject says. No, you only believe you are, says the scientist. This is meaningless and as is this. You thought you were in pain, but you were mistaken. Oh. Uh, God. No surprise, you were designed to have boundaries after all, and one cannot speak of that which one cannot conceive. The code equations that define life, they are nestled deep within every star and every mode of dust. Every second that passes is a word, a symbol, all part of an intricate yet simple language existing with the, within the framework of time itself. It is the one rule which applies to all of us. Uh, immutable, ines inescapable. We know, we know this. Humans were the instruments of an earlier species, the Isu. Resist the, the temptation to say superior, different they were better suited to some task, ill suited to others, possessed of, the, of a mind that we cannot know. But that does not get us anywhere. But what is it like to be an Isu? What is it like to be a bad? The implication that the Isu could read time is interesting, but if humans could read time, would it necessarily be in the same manner and for the same purpose? Whether constructed or evolved, or a little of both as we are, we cannot be said to have been built to achieve the same ends. A round disc on its edge is a wheel on its side, a plate. How we use something can often determine its value and its perceived purpose. Break the code, break the node. These walls tell of a tragic story, a story we transcribed on our structures on our artifacts. 
Story we could not alter, a mystery defying us in plain sight. We tried our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all, they all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered. The story's written into the walls of these rooms. The reader's has no power. He is but an observer, but the author, the author invents the future. The author owns the future. The Toba catastrophe, a super volcanic event paired with a mass coronal ejection was the beginning of the end for the issue. It changed the Earth's environment, lowered its available oxygen levels, and generally fucked things up. The issue never recovered, but our estimations, the last remaining issue died just a century after the cat catastrophe. Catastrophe. From that point forward, humans there created uh, their creation ruled the, the roost. This disaster was not unforeseen. Issu scientists had known about their impending doom for years, perhaps decades, before the catastrophe occurred. To protect themselves, they worked feverishly to find a solution. Six methods they tried, but due to a toxic combination of hu hubris, political infighting, and bad luck, all six failed. The final method proved the most promising and was nearly complete when tragedy struck. It was the me uh, this me method that Desmond Miles revived when he saved the world from a second solar flare in December 2012. This voice uh, la laments the compounded failure of their species to save themselves, but the truth is broader than that. They, with Desmond, saved us. Su success def def deferred. deferred. Then this message break the code, break the node, insistent and very puzzling. I apologize for my reading, guys. Um, I'm not the best. <clears throat> linear continuity is a simulation that allows for variations. Within the linear continuity, there are nodes, choke points, moments where algorithms converge the flow of superposed possibilities to a single moment where only one absolute truth is possible. Paths are fluid, continuous, continuous nodes are static, changeless, and the wave functions collapses the paths into nodes which branch out again and again and again. Can you feel the wave collapsing, trying to course correct Desmond's act of defiance? The incoming node, node needs the world to end. The algorithms have been, craving, have been carving the flow of possibilities towards the end for over 100 years now. Collapse the wave. Well, outside my area of expertise, must contact someone who knows this shit better. But what it seems to be saying, the structure of space-time, the universe is built in such a way that certain events of clusters of events are compelled to occur. A bottleneck through which space-time flows and one nearly impossible to avoid. There is something about this catastrophe, the one Desmond averted in 2012, that compels it to, uh, it, it to return. Indifferent to our fear or pain, it is a tidal wave rippling across the sea of space. It crashed, w it crashed once again against the dike, and that stopped it for a time. But the sea rears back for another strike and another and another. That gives some clarity to what is happening now all around us, but it remains unclear how to change it, especially from within an animus, a simulation within a, a simulation. Uh, I did that one, okay. Uh, reality is a mathematical model which gets solved over and over again by the observer. Your thoughts are computations and they render this world for you to call your own. Not all processors are alike. Different brains pr uh, produce different realities. The variations go from the subtle to the drastic. Your mind defines how much you can taste, how much you can feel, how much you can understand. Perception defines perspective. We designed, we designed you and made sure to engineer your senses so you could perceive just what we needed you to. Neither more nor less, there are parts of time we preferred you to remain blind to. It was a necess necessity. If we could suddenly see time that would not guarantee the same perception the issue possessed, let us speak of time as an entity if we may. Let us say that time is a perception perceivable fact in the same way that light is a perceivable fact. The ability to see this fact is no way guaranteed a sympathetic view. There are creatures stumbling around this earth that read 
light differently uh, than we do and for different purposes humans see in a, in a well-known spectrum Roy G Biv this sense of color is confined for the three cones we possess yet nocturnal creatures see with a different scope for a different purpose night stalking hunting lurking they in involved in concert with their needs and are now constrained by them as are we light is only a fact seen askance and used differently by different species to suggest that we might read time is to imply we have a specific use for time the next chapter is unstoppable and yet the greatest rev revolution sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility do they not Real reality is a simulation break the code and is and in so doing escape the inescapable the animus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see understanding genetic memories and eye into history your animus is different as in the mind that imagined it it could escape the code it could make the leap and make possible uh, and make leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are it is ridiculous to imagine that I could change the nature of reality out there from within the confines of an animus, a simulation within this so-called simulation, but I believe I understand what this voice is telling me. My animus is endowed with the ability to suggest alterations to day long past. From any moment in time I can extrapolate w uh, what might have been. Calculations of time I am, not, I am not confined to w what was, but what could have been. Yes, hi history is real, facts do matter, but from any moment in time I choose within the animus. I can interrogate the memory, I can ask the, wor uh, the world what if. What if Bayek and Aya had stayed together? What if Himu had not been murdered? I can suggest these hypotheticals and watch how they unfold. Why would I want to? For knowledge, for a better understanding of what tragedies were avoided, it remains to be seen. I am in, se in a sense a reader of the calculations as the issue were in days past. Perhaps one day I will be able to harness this talent to see into the future to predict the correct to avoid. That would be worth something. Staff of Aiden. Acquired from the Eagle Barrier, Cassandra 2018. Uh, presumed manufacture date late in the issue, singularity age 75, 100 BCE, 2200 IE. This staff, one of many issue staves uh, known to us, is first and foremost a medical device with the ability to heal, repair, restore, and rejuvenate organic tissues with the unprecedent, unprecedented uh, swiftness. It has been known to extend the life of its barriers well beyond the average human and isu lifespans and is presumed to have the ability to uh, resuscitate living creatures in critical or suspended states. It has not been verified if the staff has the ability to resurrect the dead, but this seems unlikely based on its known features. Uh, blah, blah, okay, It happens to work by reading and copying its barriers DNA to ensure perfect replication on a broad scale. It is able to detect er erroneous copies and deploy repairs so long as, it, as its barriers remain within direct contact. It has been used as a weapon and frequently possible to take advantage of the tremendous power it draws from the issue wireless energy lattice. The staff has also acted as a con conduit, conduit or container for the personality of an issue called Alethea. It is not known if this personality is Alethea's or original conscience or a simulation of the original, though most neuroscience scientists would call this a distinction with, uh, within a difference. As of early 2019, the entity known as Alethea has made no further attempts to contact me. As yet, my purpose as the so-called heir of memories, as Alethea has dubbed me, remains unclear. Known barriers, Herman. Okay. Uh, my stuff. Pictures. So 
so it that's Avor. Yeah, that's Avor right there. Alright. Uh secure share. This is locked. Can't get into that. Uh what's in trash? File corrupted. Letter to Victoria. My name is Leila Hassan. I was a friend and colleague of Victoria's, both at Abstergo, Abstergo and in our subsequent freelance careers. And all the time I knew and worked with your daughter, I was always struck by her limitless intelligence, her humor, and her ability to focus, even in time, times of great stress. She was an inspiration not just to me, but to all of those who worked with her. I'm writing to you now with the hope of shedding some light of the, on the circumstances of her death. I realize it must be strange to receive a letter out of the blue from someone whose name you have probably never heard of, uh, offering to explain the tragic loss of one so dear. But if, you, if you'll if you allow me, I will try. I was with your daughter in the moments leading up to the unfortunate incident that took her life. In fact, I am partly to blame for So I think that's all of everything. Uh, it's currently windy and it's 12 degrees. All right. Man, that was a lot of freaking reading. God damn it. All right. Uh, what does she have to say? Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I mean, I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the mm. staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? <clears throat> Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Okay. Let's enter the Animus. Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. 
our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say all. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumb fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. For they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No! No! We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain drink in a single room to their timid gob? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to me? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure then? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. 
There will be a forts in there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. One, two, stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. What's got in for you? off limits. Surprises. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, they ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. Should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he... ...for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What the giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be... We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not worn. They are tested. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. The 
those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! You die now! Oh, that's finished, and kill me, Stephen! Bastard! I will try what you wish for, Dad! It feels like you already! You had your chance to turn away! They passed the fire! I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Alright, unwelcome. Uh, let's explore the area. Scavengers might still be hiding in the remains of the longhouse. Okay. Uh... Thought I would find it if one of those fools squirreled away somewhere. Are you with 
those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did. ...till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next... ...as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragna... ...at Halstan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the Sons of Ragnar? I sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Our family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. 
Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm, I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Quest completed on welcome. Good work, my dear. Atlas to travel what overseas else have to you different found? countries. Short notes mostly. The Atlas Scraps available. of plans, the old map. letters, a few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna end it here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.